According to Kirat chronology, following the steps of Genghis Khan, groups of Munger people came from a place called Sin in the north of Himalayas. They came south in the 5th century following two leaders, Singh Munger and Chintu Munger. The people in the south called themselves Tangsang Thapa, meaning people who came from far away in the north. When they arrived in the territory known as Sikkim today, they built fortification called Munger Domes to protect their settlements. They established Munger rule in various parts of the land including Sikkim and now the territory known as Darjeeling district. The upper valley of Kangbachan river in Sikkim was occupied by the Tibetan people and the lower valley was occupied by the Munger tribe whose king was called Sintusati Sen. The Munger king attacked the Tibetan people and ruled over them. He extracted a heavy tax from the Tibetan people, so the Tibetan people started to conspire against the Munger king. One day, when the Munger chief had gone to visit the Tibetan village with many followers, they were surrounded and killed by the Bhutiyas. When the Munger queen heard the sad news of her husband, the Munger queen planned to take revenge on the Bhutia subjects. Therefore, the Munger queen ordered for a grand funeral in the honor of the departed soul of the Munger king. The funeral was fixed to take place six miles up the river, midway between the two great villages of Kangbachan Valley, so that all the Tibetan villages might assemble there. After the queen's followers had finished drinking, poison wine was given plentifully to the Vutia villages, who suspecting nothing drank freely and all died. In this way, nearly 1,000 men and women died. The infants in the arms were taken away by the queen's followers. The place where this foul deed was committed was now called Tongsang Fung or the place which witnesses 1,000 corpses. As a result of this, a Tibetan army invaded several junks or castles belonging to the Munger queen. The Munger queen had no preparation to fight the enemy. So she sat herself in one of her castles or jongs and her soldiers defended the castles for three months. Tibetan soldiers then tried to compel the Munger to surrender by depriving them of water. At last the queen, aware of this intention, threw all the water she had in store towards the camp. The Tibetan soldiers, thinking that she had abundance of water inside the castle, raised the seas and went to a distance to watch the movement of the Munger people. The queen immediately collected her soldiers and pursued the enemy. When a skirmish took place, she fell fighting nobly. The remaining Muggers left their place of Kagbachan Valley and migrated towards southwest direction and reached as far west as Simagar, situated about 6 miles east of present Birgans of central Nepal. When their number multiplied, they were divided into two groups under the leadership of Falemi Khan and Yomchami Khan and spread towards eastern and western directions. Falemi Khan led his horde towards West Nepal and settled in Palpa. Yomchami Khan returned to Limbuwan in the east and settled in Sanpur of Chainpur and intermingled with Limbu nations and became Limbu of Sinjali Tapa clans. Those who settled in Palpa of West Nepal were divided into Tapa, Ale, Poon, Buratoki, Rana, Gharti, Bohra, Rokka, Chauhan, Kunwar, Uchai and Roho tribes and called themselves Magar instead of the original name Munger. In the east of Nepal and Sikkim, the Mongers are so called because they were children of Mang or Mong or Mongol people. The Chinese and Burmese people call Mang or Mong for Mongolians and Er or Arui means children. So, Munger means the children of Mongols. Therefore, the Munger tribe of Nepal must be from the composite group of Kirat and Mongku, who came to Sikkim and became Munger. There are certain Lapcha tribes called Mongormu. It appears that some of the Munger tribes might have mixed with the Lapcha tribe of Sikkim and became a Lapcha Kirat people. Furthermore, there is a folklore among Nepalese that Mongers are the sect of Kirati people who brought sweet potatoes into Sikkim and Nepal. Especially the Lapsha tribe called it Mongar book or the potatoes introduced by the Mongar tribe. 
There is another proof of the affinity of the Munger and Lapsha tribe in counting number. The Munger tribe counts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 as Kat, Net, or Nas, Sam, Buli, Banga, and the Lapsha tribe says Kat, Net, Sam, Pali, Fungu. The Munger chiefs were so active in Sikkim that they kept on fighting with the Sikkimese chief up to the 18th century AD. Sikkim history mentioned that the Sikkimese chief tried their best to bring the Munger chief under their power by keeping matrimonial connection with them. There are many places in Sikkim and East Nepal called Munger Jung or the Fort of Munger tribe. Aramudi was a ruler of Kali Gandaki region approximately in the later half of 8th century AD. He seems to have ruled a strong kingdom in Kali Gandaki region, possibly around the present day Palpa of West Nepal, or Palpa may have been the kingdom King Arumadi ruled himself and also by his descendants in the later centuries. Some historians write Arumudi was also known as Baradeva. He had made Ladipatan, present day Ladipur, his capital. Historians differ on whether Arumudi in fact ruled Kathmandu Valley or Kali Gandaki region, referring to his unusual name not to be found in the list of rulers of ancient Nepal. The Magars of Nepal, as well as other historians, believe Arumudi was a Magar king. Jayapit, whose other name was Vinayaditta, a king of Kashmir in the 8th century, invaded Kali Gandaki region, a traditional homeland of the Magars of Nepal. Aramudi registered the invasion and virtually defeated Jayapit. When the Muslim king Jayapit invaded the kingdom of Magrat from 835 to 849 BS, King Arumudi retreated with his army, opened the dam of Kali Gandaki, and drove away many of Jayapit's army. After a fierce battle with Jayapit, Jayapit's army was driven away. After capturing Jayapit, the battle fell got its name Arumudi, which is still called Aramadi today. Later on, different kingdoms around river Kali Gandaki like Rizing, Giring, Arga, Kachi, Gulmi, Dor, Sattung, Failung, Virkot, Garung, Meshikot, Isma seem to have emerged and ruled by Magar kings. In those days, such 12 small kingdoms were collectively known as Bara Magarat, a confederation of 12 Magar kingdoms. As time went by, these people grew in number and were divided into 12 clans, known as Bara Magar under the leadership of Han Yong Tapa, Hang Yang Tapa, Hizrali Tapa, Hang Sing Tapa, Hung Chum Tapa, Hung Hem Tapa, Sinjali Tapa, Barcha Tapa, Munde Tapa, Chode Tapa, Islor Tapa, Udao Tapa, Bara meaning Tuval and Mangrat meaning Magars. Currently, there is a lake with Tuval corners in Dang district. The story of the origin of Tuval brother Magar kings also comes with the story of the lake within the same Tuval corners. The kingdom of the Tuval brothers, Magars, have been called the Tuval Magars. The culture of the Magars seem to have evolved from the distinctive culture of Tuval Magar brothers. Each year, people celebrate a festival of Barakune Tal in Gorai of Dang district to commemorate the founding of Tuval Magars. Tuval Magars consisted of Satung, Fayehung, Birkot, Dor, Garahung, Rizing, Giring, Gulmi, Argra, Kachi, Musikot, and Isma. Birkot was the central government of all Bara Mangra. Each of the 12 districts had its own king. Though this 12 district had agreed by common consent to regard the king of Birkot as their overlord. The area from west of Kali Gandaki to east of Karnali River was traditionally known as Magarat. This Magarat was considered the province of Magar. It is also said that the Magar spread to Marshangri River in the east. When we talk about Magars, we also talk about 12 Magarat and 18 Magarat. These Magarats were or are the origin of Magars. Similarly, Atara or 18th Magarat consisted of the following regions Gulmi, Agrakanchi, Parbat, Magdi, Putan, Rolpa, Rukum, Dang, Dailek, Jazarkot, Dolpa, Jumla, Doti, Bunkot, Barakot, 
Dorel Dura and Rupal. Athara or Eighteen Magarat mainly consists Khatri, Poon, Buddha and Roka. In this two, Ghati, Poon and Buddha caste speaks, Khambasi Magars and Rokas are Kaike speaking Magars. But in later period, the system of government was seized as the king of Palpa, Rijing, Giring, Rajar Kurt claimed independent king with the title of Sanghang. Magars had their own language and culture. Dhami was their religious priest. Long before the coming of Hindu influence into their kingdom, there was a Kirat king called Balihang, who had an extensive kingdom from Pokhara to Gorakhpur and the Magars had spread from the hilly region to the Tarai region. When the Hindu missionaries began to spread Hinduism in western Nepal, the Saha king of Palpa was the first to be converted into Hinduism and became a Hindu Rasput king and claimed his descent from Sen family of India. His name was Chila Rai. Similarly, when Hindu missionaries approached the chief of Birkut, who was of Khan family for conversion, he refused them and remained a pure Magar king. His name was Kancha Khan, which means the king's son king. The Hindu missionaries then approached the second prince, whose name was Mecha Khan or the youngest son king. The missionaries assured that he would be also a king like his elder brother if he would accept Hinduism. So he gave his consent to them to convert him to Hinduism. Thus, the second prince of Birkut also became a Hindu Rasput and his religious priest made him the king of Nuakot of Bara Mangrat. He was succeeded by Jaya Khan, Micha Khan, Bichitra Khan, Jagdego Khan and Kulmadan Khan. From the time of this king, he changed his family title from Khan to Saha, which carries the same meaning as king. The descendants of King Kancha Khan of Birkut, though refused to accept Hinduism and agreed to abide by their own tribal culture, yet with all his subjects were so much influenced by Hinduism that all the Magar tribes ceased to follow the teaching of their own tribal priests and followed the doctrine of Hindu priests, with respect to birth, marriage and death ceremonies and those officials of the court of Saha kings and Khan kings of Palpa and Birkut who could afford for conversion into Hinduism became Hindu Rasput and called themselves Chetris. In this way, the Magar kings and their officials were converted into Hindu civilization. The place is called Baldengardi, today as King Balihang established his empire in Palpa district in the 14th century. The history of festival of Tihar is related to King Balihang. Drabya Saha captured Gorkha Kot, the last Magarat area from the Magar king. Man Singh Karka Magar in Bikram Sambat, 1616, Badra 25th. In the 16th century, Palpa ruler Mukunda Sen briefly invaded the Kathmandu Valley. In the 17th century, Mulla kings of Kathmandu Valley were united to fight back the invasion of Magars from Palpa. Before the unification of Nepal in the mid-18th century, Nepal was divided into different principalities. During that period, the Magars were said to be the king and rulers in the midwestern and western region of Nepal and later on their states were invaded by Saha dynasty and annexed to single Nepal. Until the end of 17th century, the Bara Magrat was homeland of the Magars. Ale, Thapa, Rana or Rana are the positions or governmental honors or recognition received by the Magar caste. Janga Bahadur Kumar became Rana only after May 5, 1848. However, it is written in history that there were Rana or Rana Magars in Gorkha 300 years before that. The word Ali is very similar to the word Alia or Aliyah in the Indian language and means any government official. What this means is that in the Middle East, the Ali Magars were like today's government employees. The soldier holding the fort is referred to as Thapa Magar. The word Thapa is a Burmese word and in the Tibetan language, Tha it means not in the center but on the ace or water and pa means people. Even in the genealogy, the Magars who have conquered the battlefield are mentioned as Rana. In fact, 
there should be Rana Mugger instead of Rana because the Kuwer Chetris are mentioned as Rana Mugger in the genealogy before Rana, that is, in the time of Drapya Saha, and the history has shown that the Kuwer Chetris later became Rana. Yet in the middle of 18th century AD, King Prithvinarayan Saha was very proud of calling himself the King of Magrat. King Prithvinarayan Saha has said in his Divya Upades, Magrat ko Raza Maihu, I am the King of Magrat. It is a known fact that the great King Prithvinarayan Saha of Gorkha state had extended his kingdom east and west by the strength of this Magar army. After the victory of Prithvinarayan Saha in the east, the children of Kazi Biras Thapa Magar, Kazi Jayanta Gagmi Rana Magar, Dada Surtasen Rana Magar were made Thapa Chetri. Prithvinarayan Saha trusted the Magars more because Magars were strong, honest and fearless. So the Magars were given the place of Chetris. Wherever King Prithvinarayan Saha of Gorkha concurred in connection with the unification, the Magars seems to have settled there. In 1801 BS, after the conquest of Nuakur, there is a history of Magars living in Bairamkur, Samari and Kanigao of Nuakur. Similarly, Prithvinarayan Saha had given military training to a group of Magar youths to rule the Kathmandu Valley. Kala Palton and Gora Palton were established as military units under the charge of Magars. The Kala Palton is now called as Kali Bahadur Gana and Gora Palton as Gorkha Gana. The Magars or Mangars are divided into 12 tribes called Thapa, Rana, Ale, Poon, Buratoki, Gharti, Bohra, Roka, Chauhan, Kumar, Uchai, and Jakri, and each tribe is subdivided into many clans. Among them, Thapa tribes are more in number. The Rana class of Magar tribes belong to the same stock of Thapa, but when they were separated from their original group and lost for three generations, they settled in a place called Gurkha and called themselves by the name of Rana, which means chief. Thus, the habitants of Rana Magar became the Gorkha Vilis. Later on, the Kas people came from Kumau and Garwal and mixed with the Magars and became one with them till they were not converted into Hinduism. The city of Gorkha was originally the residence of Chitoria or Chitore Rana Magars and the city was built by them. To this day, large number of Chitoria Chitore Rana Magars are found in the Gorkha district. The Magars were also involved in the war with the British at Nalapan. The first martyr of Nepal was Lakhan Thapa. He was a Magar. In the Manakamana temple located in Gorkha, it is mandatory for a priest to be a Magar. Especially the priest must be a descendant of Lakhan Thapa Magar. The famous Prime Minister Vimsen Thapa was the descendant of Magar Thapa family as was General Amar Singh Thapa. Janga Bahadur Kumar Rana is also a Magar. Although all Magar follow Hinduism, the Poon Magars of Tibetan frontier still practice Buddhist religion and follow their tribal rites at their birth, marriage and death ceremonies. The language of Magar belongs to the tibeto burman family. DNA taste has proved that Magars and Gurungs belong to the same family tree or group. Similarly, Rai Limbu Serpa and Tamangs belong to the same group. Even Chepangs are very close to Magars. Magar Gurung Chepangs have common ancestors. Magars have originated from Mongolian race. Magars have came from present-day Sikkim and then they moved towards west. They are the one of the earlier settlers in Nepal and at that time they were neither Hindu nor Buddhist. Some of the Magar clans are as follows. Thapa Magars, Baral, Balami, Baragari, Sinjali, Bagale, Thapa, consist of Adgari, Satgari, Falungi, Darmal, Punwar, Setu, Singe, Rosala, and Kala. Goha Thapa consists of Bacha, Chiri, Gora, Khan, and Malangi. Resmi Thapa consists of Dangale, Gore, and Thapa. Saru Thapa consists of Jaurup, Japarluk, Jenri, and Paniti. Besides these, Guru Bachan, Purbachan, Tanga Bachan, Simai, P. 
Pit Kote, Singh Jali, Uchai, Pulami, Marunchan, Ramjali, Lamchani, and Kali Kote. Rana Magars, Asami, Ursami, Aslami, Bangling, Chumi, Charmi, Garmi, Gammi, Karka, Yapachai, Lungeli, Makim, Pali, Panti, Rimali, Ruchal, and Chitore. Poon Magars, Berkali, Baijali, Pungali, Namjali, Balali, Tajali, Takali, Sain, Sanangi, and Soti. Buratoki Magars, Balkoti, Diobal, Gamal, Kural, Ulange, Kermani, Pahari, Juzali, Pojonge, Tami, and Ranju. Ale Magars, Argeli, Bili, Changi, Heski, Hungcheng, Lamjal, Limial, Roho, Rimal, Rakal, Suyal, Serpali, and Sarangi. Gharti Magars, Baima, Banjali, Bulami, Dagami, Galami, Gamal, Kalikote, Mershangri, Pahari, or Pandre, Para, Pagami, Rangu, Rawal, Rijal, Same, Sawangi, Sene, Surai, Shinjapati, Talazi, Tere, Tirukia, Ulange, and Wale. In ancient times and in the Middle Ages, the Magars were kings. They had their own kingdom. Towards the end of the Middle East, the Magar kingdoms disappeared. The Magars became ministers. After the last general of Iman Singh Rana was killed in Kot Massacre, the Magars became extinct from the royal positions. Thank you.